The quick clean filter here on the animation toolbox is a very handy little filter to just use during the business of animation to help clean up your graphs and curves as you're working. It will be enacted on any channels that you have selected here in the channel selection, but it's just a quick single shot filter with no modifiable parameters, so does not need to be applied or reset. Here we see an example of what it's good for. I've got this camera that I've animated quite terribly, just moving forward here on its Z, and we can see it sort of bouncing around between keyframes rather poorly, and that is down to bad curve interpolation. If we have a little look over here in the graph editor, then we can see what's going on. Obviously, we've keyed it as TCB, so at areas like this, where we actually have a hold between frames 30 and 40, we are, of course, getting a little drift going on in there. And we can also see that due to the way I've keyed it, just keying all channels, I've got all of these redundant, unnecessary keys on the other channels that aren't really in use in this animation. What the quick clean filter will do is it will tidy up problems like this. It will flatten out holds and it will remove redundant and unnecessary keyframes. We can see that not only do I have bad curve going on in this little block here, but I have these three keyframes that are all of course a hold. The camera is in the same position, but I've got a redundant keyframe in the middle there. And you'll notice as well that whilst these keys over here are TCB spline, over here, I've got Hermite spline keys, and even up here, I've got Bezier spline keys. These curves here, this graph here, really is a mixed bag of mess. So all I'll do is just come over, click on Quick Clean, and bingo. We can see that all of the redundant flat keyframes have been reduced out, and all of the holds have been flattened. In this case, it has maintained my Hermite spline here, it has maintained my Bezier here, and of course, it has maintained the TCB here. And the result is that we now have this clean stop and start animation, which is what we had attempted to key in the first instance. And we haven't had to go into the graph editor manually and make all of these little adjustments, either to the curve handles on Bezier or Hermites, or to the tension values on TCBs, as well as identifying and manually deleting the redundant flat keyframe values.